rise for the pledge. Flag in the corner here. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And as we do at each meeting, let's remember our men and women in the armed forces, those that are here at home, and those overseas. Thank you. Uh, right, come on up. Ladies, come on up. Let's see if this works. You let me know, Sean. You probably won't be able to hear me, is that correct? No, you could. If you stand by one of the mics, you'll be fine. How about just hold the mic? Yeah, I'm okay. I've asked uh, uh, the 4th of July committee to come tonight and the highway department, DPW department, because they need to be recognized. And uh, there was a, a, many that had other commitments tonight. But I'm so, I am thankful that the three of you showed up. So we have Carrie, and we have uh, Melissa, who are these folks are on the 4th of July committee, and Brent's with the, uh, he's our foreman at the highway department, representing the, the guys there tonight. And also I must include uh, the village board members. Jimmy, Jimmy Ramis is actually on the committee, uh, Jim DeSalvo's on the committee, uh, Merv gave us words of encouragement all, all six months back to January, and same with Brian. So, uh, while I want to talk about these two, the uh, committee and the uh, highway department, I want to thank the village board for their support. Because without the support, you take one of these links out, we, we, we don't have a 4th of July. So, thank you to the board. You guys. Uh, and we uh, may be five or six weeks before the 4th of July, it was kind of touch and go whether we were going to actually have a 4th of July. We had already weeks before that started to scale back for lack of participation with a committee and for lack of dollars. Um, but it came together because by what you, I'm assuming that you guys must have read maybe a story in the paper yes. that we were looking for, for, uh, for help on the committee and you stepped up. And you've only lived here Four months. Now it's four months. I remember four when you told me two three. months. Yeah, it was two so months. this young lady's been here four months and she joins the Fourth of July committee. I mean, what more do I want? You know, that's great. So, um, so we have Carrie here tonight. Uh, we have Jim Desaw. We have Jim Remus. We have Tim and Ina Meekum. They've been on the committee for a while. They're 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 great. Uh, Kathy Jones. Uh, Maria Palella. New member? Hey, Tim. Stand right there. You're perfect. <laughs> uh, Maria Palella, she was a new member, a great... You know, Maria always has a smile on her face. When I'm sitting there nervous and worrying and ready to cut things, there's Maria with a nice smile on her face. You know, it was good. Uh, Jeanette Scott, uh, Kathy Beach, uh, Allie Dunn. Allie Dunn is our youngest member. And, uh, boy, she stepped up. First year, she stepped up to the plate. I always worried, was she ever thinking, boy, I'm sorry I ever came to one of these meetings. But she stepped up. She was, she was great. So I think that's the committee. Uh, with, uh, with your department and Tim here, you had John Jones, uh, yourself, Brent, uh, Dan Stalter, John Walter, Kevin Barnes, Tim Green, and Cody Jaos. Now, I, I wanted you guys to come because, the highway department, because, no, you're not on the committee. You don't have time to be on the committee because I got you out running around doing Fourth of July stuff anyway. I mean, the, the village looked as good as it did because of you guys. Because of you guys. Thank you. The parade was good and the fireworks were good and Roe Park was good because of us. And you guys beautified the community. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. The 4th of July is our signature event, um, 51 years. Um, I looked at a calendar. Our next meeting is February 1, 2020. <laughs> I'll send you a notice. 
uh, and that'll be our 52nd year. So, this is short. I have no gifts to give you. I have nothing but praise to give you. The community deserves and expects what they got. And they got it. That's our job. They deserve it. They expect it. And we gave it to them. I can't. This thanks isn't enough, but it's all I have tonight. Jim, thank you. Thank you. You know, Tim's our. I want the community to know Tim's our mechanic. Uh, good hire by the board. I thank you for all that you that you've done and that you do. And uh, another time, under another different venue, I will bring up what you have saved the village of Highland Falls with your expertise in being a mechanic. And you have. No problem. I've been doing it. I know you are. That's what makes it great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Is that, you think I was picked up, Sean? Okay. Oh, you have to stay for the whole meeting. <laughs> no, go. Can we go? Go. go. Okay. Not good. <laughs> okay, let's see. The very first. <laughs> okay. All right. That's that time. Charlie? Oh. Well, actually, this is... This is unusual, but you're a past board member. No, we don't have this, you know, we have this our workshop, but I want you to see. Um, well, Can folks here, Charlie, at home? Pardon? Oh, Charlie Murphy, village resident. You're speaking about Oh. Um, this is a good segue because the DPW um, did a phenomenal job getting ready for the 4th of July, and it's been going on uh, over the course of the year. It's not just for this occasion. And then they've been bolstered by a lot of organizations in the community who have volunteered their time and resources to make the village look beautiful. And it really does look better than it has in a very long time. The reason I'm here tonight is because some of us um, who are volunteers are in their late 60s, 70s, 80s, and not... Look at me. <laughs> but it, it is true, and it grieves me to say that, um, once again, one of the very expensive planter boxes by Holy Innocence has been vandalized, pulled off, and it, what makes it even worse this year is that homophobic and racist epitaphs were also scratched into the stone underneath after the planter was pulled off. Now, I feel a certain attachment to this particular planter box because I planted it and have been watering it. Um, so I'm here tonight to say that the people have been captured on camera and I'm hoping that they will be brought to justice because the planters themselves cost at least $300. Um, I do hope that we can arrange for some community service for these individuals. And in the past, we haven't had community service because we didn't have supervision. I will volunteer to supervise garbage collection. I've even got the little clippers to help them do the task. Um, so once our police department looks at the camera tape, um, I hope something can be done because it's happened too many times. So uh, Charlie, uh, let me say this. Uh, uh, you're right, it breaks your heart. I understand that. And you're right, we have a, the highway department does great but there, there has to be that sprinkle, and it's a heavy sprinkle, with volunteers, with different organizations that help make this community as beautiful as you say it is. And I appreciate that compliment. We all work hard, and you know that you know from your time on the village board that the village board works hard at achieving this because we should have this. You know, I, I go back to what I said to these folks over here. The community deserves it. They deserve what we give them. It's not extra we're giving them. They deserve what we're giving them. And so that will continue. Now, as far as this vandalism, uh, and, and it's twofold. There was vandalism and uh, there were a rem uh, racial uh, 
uh, remarks uh, 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 there also. Oh, words. Yeah, and I know. I know about this, and and um, I will meet with the chief of police tomorrow morning um, to relay your concern that you were here, and that community service we hope, along with restitution of the damage that was done, is given. So we want both. We want restitution, and we want community service. Um, a lot of the community service, if not all of it, probably has to do with the judges. Yeah. Uh, and we'll speak to them. And um, Well, very often the judges have been reluctant to do it because of the supervision. The supervision. That's correct. Years ago, we actually had someone that supervised all these different um, folks that, that the, part of the punishment was a, a community service. And so we'll follow up on that. We'll follow up on that. And if you remember, not to get sidetracked, but you remember we hired one of the young men that was community service and because he did he such a good so job. Good, yeah. The guy did such a good job at what he was given. We asked him, did you want a job? So things that, that was a positive thing for, us, for him and us. But follow-up follow will be done. Okay? All right. I'm like free to go. Yeah, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much. Okay. Was the planter destroyed? Yes. Who, who, where is, what's the budget? Who pays for those? That, those planters came from Vision. Okay. Yeah. This will be, be taken care of. All right. If we could approve the minutes, uh, we had a regular meeting on July 1, 2019, and we had an executive session meeting on July, on July 1, uh, 2019 and I just want to make uh, the, the you see the sentence down there uh, below says correction to minutes uh, uh, inadvertently the clerk made a mistake but also she caught her mistake and fixed it so um, you, it, the, the correction is within the minutes that were approved okay. motion by trustee Livesey is there a second second by trustee DeSavo all in favor Aye. Aye. opposed motion carried thank you All right, I'd like to open up uh, a public hearing on property maintenance. Uh, you have before you three, four, five, but one might be, is Brian, let me ask you something right now. Is 11 Church Street done? Yeah, they did all the um, mowing uh, Thursday, Friday, and they were back today. So okay, do morning. you think we should take them off? I'm going to be talking to... Um, Bruce? Yeah. Some all right, let... Some, okay, go ahead. people were complaining that the lawns were cut, but there's still branches sticking out through the fence and bushes through the fence. I just wanted them to clear up the stuff. So I'll ask Bruce, Bruce, are you going to set up a mandate what really makes... Well, uh, my suggestion would be that, and I know it's time-consuming, but Bruce, I know this is time-consuming, but Bruce really should go d to different properties with the contractor he hires to say it's not just the grass cutting, right. it's all this too, if there happens to be all this. The woman no? who's trying to buy that house brought a couple of people of hers in to do it. Okay. Let's keep, let's keep it there, okay. but I understand, and I know that situation, right. but okay. it won't mean much, okay. if anything. So you'll table that? No, that one will... You'll table that one? Let's table it. That's a better thing. That's a better way, I would suggest. Let's table 11 Church Street right now. And I'll be seeing Bruce tomorrow. My, my uh, boss is getting nervous with me when I start to do these things. We're in an op I, we opened up the meeting, right? Okay. When we come out, let's make 11 Church Street tabled. Okay. That would be the better way. So we, we're in an open meet uh, uh, I opened up the meeting, public hearing, 72 Mountain Avenue, 53 Villa Parkway, which is the second or third time on 53 Villa. It's terrible. We're not anyone's private contractor to cut grass. <laughs> but it, it seems... Is more on a second cut, is it more? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Is, how and much, the, how third, much the third property maintenance, uh, they get a violation to go to court. So the first, first is 400, right? Yeah. Uh, three. 300? Okay. You pay the contractor plus 300. Right. Okay, and then what's the second one? It's more. It's, and it's, it's, 
I forgot to bring the book up. Yeah. Well, 53 is Burks. Yeah. And then you got the one next to it that's on the hit parade that we have to keep our eye. It's not right. It's not right to this board, and it's totally not right to the residents of the village. All right, 72 Mountain Avenue, 53 Villa Parkway, 122 Mearns Avenue. We have an address on, uh, on Mountain Avenue and 11 Church. Uh, forget 11 Church. So you have one, two, three, four. Well, I'm going to ask right now. Is there anyone here representing owner or representing 72 Mountain Avenue, 53 Villa, 122 Mearns Avenue, Mountain Avenue, Section 104-3-30? Is there anyone here? Let the record show no. There isn't. Is that second Mountain Avenue on that lot owned by the state? It's below Feldman's? Yeah. No, I believe that's by Jansen's property. Oh, this is the one next to the Purple House on Mountain Avenue. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sorry. Uh, why do I have this? Oh, that was okay. Okay, thank you. Do we? Is there any correspondence or any like did for fifty three Villa? Did we get? Do you know off the top of your head? I know this is going to be a. Do you know if they like someone paid the June tax bill for that property? Like, is there is there someone owns it? Is it a person? Is it a financial institution? Is it? I don't know at the moment who owns it, but what we do is then send a certified letter to our owner on property once these are approved. So it does go out certified to who we have as the property owner on record at the time. And do we get any correspondence back from these folks? Uh, sometimes unclaimed mail, um, sometimes nothing, and then it's held until taxes and it gets paid yeah, no, to the yeah. property. <clears throat> All right. So I continue in this uh, public hearing. Whereas a long-standing violation of village property maintenance law, Chapter 170, at the Village of Holland Falls Code has existed at each property listed above with designated tax map as also noted. Whereas the property owner or owners have been given due notice of said violations and have been directed to correct these violations. And whereas the property owner or owners were given due notice of a public hearing to be held by the Board of Trustees on July 15, 2019 at 7 p.m. to determine whether the violations have been properly remedied and whether to order the corrective action be undertaken by the village to correct said violations at the property owner's costs and expense to bill said cost and expense to the property owner and to levy same against the property. And whereas the public hearing was duly held by the Board of Trustees on July 15, 2019, and whereas the owner or owners did not appear, whereas the owner or owners have not taken steps to correct the violations, and the violations still exist, and whereas the Board of Trustees is authorized pursuant to Section 170-2, of the property maintenance law to authorize that the village undertake to remedy such violations at the property owner's cost and expense. Now, therefore, be resolved that the village, its contractors, and agents shall enter upon the property to correct the violations and that all costs incurred by the village, including administrative, legal, corrective costs, be charged to the property owner and such charge shall be added to the tax bill of the property owner if not paid within 30 days of notification to the last known address of the property owner as shown on the village tax records. May I have, um, I'll, I'll come out of uh, executive, that's what I mean, I'll come out of the public hearing at the time. And may I have a motion to accept this resolution? I'll make the motion uh, excluding 11. Mm -hmm. I'll well, may I have roll call? Trustee uh -huh. Howard? Aye. Trustee DeSalvo? Aye. Trustee Lipsy? Aye. Trustee Ramis? Aye. Mayor DeNoff? Aye. Motion carries. Now, may I have a motion to um, take 11 Church Street 
and we'll table it to the next meeting. You can, I don't think you need one. You can, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll make a motion. Motion by Trustee DeSavo, is there a second? Second. Second yes. by Trustee Howard, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Next, uh, if we could approve the uh, the uh, architect's uh, proposal for Liscom McCormick and Van Voris for services of the Restore New York grant, which is the $500,000 grant we have to remove paint from buildings on brick buildings on Main Street. Uh, and so you all know that the grant uh, will cover this cost. You know, Mr. Mayor, there's been so much talk about this, you know, it's sort of what if, how if, what happens if. Uh, Mayor, we've had uh, several meetings over the last two weeks during the day on this, and uh, we're going to do one building at a time. Mm -hmm. We'll take the worst eyesore out of the eight that were given to us, mm -hmm. which is the I call it the pink building on Mountain Avenue across the street from the fire side and the fire department. As you're going up, it's on the right. Uh, the owner is excited. He was here. Brian, you? Yeah. You here? Yeah. yeah. He signed. Uh, remember he signed he, it? He, yeah. He bought. He, he went and signed the, the the letter that Elise made for us to hold us harmless, if you will. Mm -hmm. He signed it and had it notarized immediately. So he's very excited. Um, he has other properties in the village that he's done uh, very, very well with. So we know his background, if you will. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to have to look at this uh, sooner rather than later in that building number two and building number three might not opt in like they said they would because it's years ago. So we might have to look at uh, number four and number five. That's why I say we've been, you know, it's been a lot of conversation. You need a motion? Uh, um, what's that? Okay, so I just want to make sure I don't want to say anything else about this. So it's on the move. The, the grant is on the move, okay? Uh, yes, a motion. Motion by Trustee DeSalvo. We'll see. Yes. So then I have questions. Can we have discussion? Now's the time, Jim. Thank you. You're welcome. So the proposal is to complete a base set of parking architectural documents and complete removal of all exterior paint, masonry repair and repointing, and the prep of the original wood materials. I don't believe that was in the original document or like that. And I would hope that we Double check that because you mean the grant? Right, because that building may need a whole new fat, uh, facade of brick. Which one, Jim? The the first one that we're talking about. Okay. The the biggest eyesore, and I agree, I totally agree. But if the architect goes in and says that whole facet of brick has to be off. <clears throat> Well, if the, if the architect goes in, for which he was on site, uh, says that that is not our, that's not the grant. The grant is simply, and I'm going to make it simple, the grant is to remove paint from brick and do pointing. It's not to do wooden windows. Okay. It's not to do a door that's all in, in, in dis, dis that, that needs work. That's going to be on the owner. And in fact, we spoke to the owner, and he's so excited he can't wait to do the windows, the doors, whatever he has to do. I can only tell you that. Now, time will tell if he's, time will tell. Is that vacant right now, by the way? Uh, there's some folks upstairs, like apartments, oh, yeah. but downstairs seems more empty than, than not. But the, uh, we're not replacing brick. Okay, oh, only because when I read this, that's what okay. it sounds like. Any other? It really does. It says masonry repair and repointing. Repointing. We know repointing, but it says masonry repair. Okay. And that's where... The only thing we have to be concerned about is what the grant allows us to do. No more, no less. 
That's all we have to be concerned about. Th this is, they're going to be preparing the big documents. That's what these people are doing. So the big documents, if there's anything in the big documents that is not consistent with the grant, then that is the time to catch it. Okay. So, okay. and the other thing is I believe that the hold harmless also had um, a provision in there that the owner would be responsible for costs outside of the grant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Th this is the engineering cost, right, for this grant? Architectural, yeah. Th this is covered by the IDA Ta money? Our engineer money? thought that... Is this covered yes. by the IDA money? Yes. yes. And then the other sure. thing is um, there was a company that worked with Barbara when she prepared this that had a methodology for removing the paint. Um, so I would hope that this company would, would be given that package so that um, they might take a look at that as they prepare these bids. Yeah, we definitely need that method of removal because... Who? There's Who gave a method of removal? There was a company that presented Barbara with a method of a removal that um, ensured at least on, you know, it was a vendor. a vendor. It was a vendor, but they had a particular method of removing paint from brick that didn't. Um, sandblast. It, it didn't make the lead airborne. First That's right. right. It, it was more yeah. putting a paste on it, and then the paint comes off. I thought it was just. We're not. We're not. Yeah. We're not sandblasting, no. right. the, uh, which is what I thought was going to have to be done. No, there's a sandblast. there's a chemical now that these folks showed us. Right. Mm -hmm. I wish I had bought the stuff up. Uh, buildings they've done at uh, Mount St. Mary's, uh, Orange County um, Community College. Uh, it, it, they've worked for. Uh, it, it, it's a. Uh, it's a. It's not sandblasting where the stuff it's goes on. Paste goes on and then yeah. you rub it off. And it peels off. Right. right. Because there is a stream behind. That right. we have a concern about. Um, Jim, listen, uh, I'm going to encourage you. Any any of your concerns can't wait till we have a meeting like this. You you have to come in. This document's been downstairs. We have to call up. You don't you can call these folks up. Say, what do you mean by this? It's it's not good to. I'm saying this to everyone. It's not good to wait to tonight to do it. But I brought these up. The well, last you, time. but you didn't follow through by calling them. You didn't bring them to me. I brought these up at one of the meetings. Okay. I encourage you to call these folks. Now, I mean, let me say for the record, too, it breaks my heart when I see bricks painted. I mean, I did masonry work for a long time, and when you paint bricks, I mean, you don't paint masonry them. is one of the best uh, architectural things that is out there. I think we discussed when that doing the back where the water is. We're not doing the back. We're not. We're not. But, uh, we asked. But, that was a thing. The, but th these people are not the vendors who are. And my understanding that the, this vendor is not the vendor who's going to do the work. These no. guys are going to prepare the That's correct. correct. That's correct. Okay. I just want to make sure I understand. So there's a motion in a second. Yeah. Okay. So, and yes, uh, tr to Trustee Tosavo, and uh, yes, uh, we have 45, we, were, we had received a $45,000 grant. From the IDA. From the Orange County IDA. And truly, correctly, thank you. Uh, I know that you sit on the IDA, and uh, um, I appreciate the, you putting in a word for Holland Falls. And from that, uh, we were given 45, we, we have $45,000 to go towards engineering slash architectural, uh, their proposal. Um, and so everyone knows uh, any work by Todd, our engineer, or any work by uh, these folks here, Liscom McCormick, uh, they build the IDA, and the IDA sends them uh, restitution. Yeah, thanks for doing that. Okay. Thank you. So is no it problem. Problem. Take the credit. I'm not getting Better than more. coming out of the ground. Right. Well, they you couldn't, couldn't, couldn't come out of the ground. Oh, I thought it yeah. could not come out of the right. ground. Oh, okay. So the 45000 Thank you, Mr. I, didn't, I, didn't Is that, I didn't write you a check. I, no one wants to take credit for it. I'll take the credit. Fantastic. <laughs> so, 45,000. Um, I just hope they don't drink. Brian and I. 
I just hope they don't drain 45,000 on these three buildings and then we get these three buildings done and we still have other buildings that we're going to be doing and then we're going to have to look for more money for the architectural well, we've, uh, we've, plans. We've already spoken the other buildings. That's not going to happen. Uh, we've already, like I said, we've already had that discussion. We've had discussions about what happens when we take the paint off and everything's soft. We've, we've been through all this already. Yeah. So. I will stay on top of this like nothing, like like the paint is on the brick. That's all I can tell you. Okay. Or coming off. Or coming off. Okay. So we have a motion. I don't think we voted. We had a second. And second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Pardon? No. Okay. Four to one. Uh, Trustee Ramos voted no. After all that, you vote no? Mm -hmm. Strange. Okay. Proposal for uh, Robert J. Fulchetti, which is actually Todd, for services of the, at the North End con uh, for construction phase. That's the, uh, he, he gave us a proposal uh, for them to be the um, inspectors on the job for the uh, sidewalks. May I have a motion? I'll make a motion to accept that. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. I have a request from James I. O'Neill High School to use Row Park for varsity, JV, JV, and modified baseball teams from March 1, 2020 through June 10, 2020. So, I see, that, just a quick question. Why the varsity? Was there an explanation on that? That's a good question. Is there field ready, Jim? Is that field ready? No. No, huh? It's no. not ready yet. What, baseball is. That's what I don't get because this is for modified JV and varsity baseball practices and games. Unless it's the irrigation system is what? It's not right. I mean, well, it is and it isn't. I don't think we're going to have kids there because it's going to be, you know, the whole place is tore up. So I just think, I think she's using it as a backup. That's what it is. So. I think it's a backup, really. I don't have I don't have problems. Well, I, mean, I just well, I just, the schools under turmoil with the. It's just when I see Boris, I'm going to do these up there all the time. But I only I would only like one thing though. That, that score sign up there does that work? At O'Neill or us? Board, us. It did last year, Mer. Well, I think they ought to use it. Pardon? They ought to use it. It ought to be used. Can you mention that, Jim? Yeah, I'd like to see that used. I really would. Okay. Should be. If it works, I don't know if it's the school or. No, I believe the scoreboard was put in by the um, softball. Yeah, it is. It is ours, if you will, or the men's softball league or something. Several yeah, years ago. It's nice to see it used. You know, you see the little league; they got theirs going there. It just makes baseball more like baseball. When you see it. It's probably depends on who they get to operate it. Yeah. Usually, that's what happens with scoreboards. <laughs> Who's going to do it? I'll move, I'll move this if you don't have a motion. Yeah. I'll second. Motion by Trustee DeSalvo, second by Trustee Lizzie. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. I need authorization to sign the DASNIA follow up paperwork for the Rope Park grant. So moved. Trustee DeSalvo, is there a second? Second. Second by Trustee Howard. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. And for anyone that's around or can be around, there's a meeting um, with the LA group who's handling the uh, projects over at Rope Park um, this Wednesday, the day after tomorrow at 11:30. Here, if you're around, you want to stop by, it'd be good. Next, I need authorization for the mayor to sign the Orange County Community Development follow-up paperwork for the Community Development Block Grant for 2018, which is the project we want to do right over here at the West Point Highway. So moved. Seconded. Well, motion by Trustee DeSavo, seconded by Trustee Howard. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carried. And just to make reference, uh, this paperwork is uh, uh, for the additional $16,000 of grant money that will be added to the 80,000 grant money that we received. So we'll have 96,000. Um, community development is working with us as far as what sections can be done. They have rules and regulations, handicap 
other things of that, that they need to take care of. So, um, but just so you know, that's for the 16,000 grant added to the 80,000 grant, and it's for West Point Highway uh, Memorial Park, possibly sidewalk. Thank you. We, uh, through a motion tonight, we could complete the probation of Caitlin Rodriguez. She's our full-time dispatcher. It should be going into effect on the 16th of July. It was recommended by the police chief. Motion. So, second. These are tough for that. Motion by Trustee Ramis, second by Trustee DeSalvo. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. I need, I, we need to complete the probation period recommended by the police chief of Carrie Ann uh, Petty. Again, full-time, that's the two, two we hired at the same time. Mm -hmm. right? Full-time dispatcher, effective the 16th of July, 2019, per the recommendation of the police chief. Motion. Motion by Trustee Ramis, seconded by Trustee Livesey. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Okay, next we have uh, proposals that uh, the clerk had gone out and received and had people in here looking to fix our air conditioner, uh, this unit that's over here behind us. Um, the low bid came in at $4,850, $4,850 by D and K. Uh, we should approve that. This is kind of old now and it's going to break down soon, and uh, it's not going to be nice weather for the next few weeks. I'll make a motion. I'll second. Motion by Trustee Livesey, second by Trustee DeSalvo. All in favor? Go with the low bid. This is low bid. Yeah, we had two. This is the low bid. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Um, Yeah, I'm sorry. The second, the second bidder, we only had two. Was Mountain Breeze, fifty-two hundred. So, um, so we're at four hundred dollars there with the low bidder. I would like to have a motion, if you agree, to cancel our second meeting, our workshop meeting in August. If uh, we need a special meeting for an emergency, of course we'll have it. Uh, more than likely, we'll need a quick meeting one morning to pay bills. But other than that, let's cancel our. I'm recommending that we cancel our second meeting in August. So moved. Motion by Trustee Tosavo, sir. Second. second. Second by Trustee Howard. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you so much. Um, I want folks to know from our last meeting uh, that we have been uh, monitoring Bog Meadow more often. Um, village employees were up today, up there today, cutting brush. They'll be back. It's not. A, it was more than a one-day job. Um, but I will tell everyone, and I haven't said this to the board soon. Soon, I will recommend to the board cameras. Friday night, uh, this past Friday, July the 12th, approximately 5 or 6 in the evening till 8 or 8.30, could have been 9 o'clock in the evening, on Friday, July 12th, 10 to 15 cars, 30 to 40 people. I can only assume they didn't read the News of the Highlands, where it said no fires, no swimming, and uh, do we need signs up there, man? Yes, we're going to. Um, we're going to. I'm going to come back to the board with recommendations. I'll work with uh, the highway and police department on signs. Um, um, I can't use any different words than I used two weeks ago. Uh, so these are a repeat. But this will not be tolerated. If, if people think we're kidding, we're not. I mean, this isn't, um, this is our water supply. I know we don't see it. Most people don't think about it. Some people don't even know where it is. But I know where it is. I think about it every day. And uh, it won't be tolerated. And you're going to say something about the patrol, patrol. We're patrolling up there more. We already are. We're patrolling up there more often. 
So uh, that's all I'm going to say there. And you don't hold the McGee? No, unless you do. No, just okay. Okay, so um, that's my comment about Bog Meadow. I won't rant like I did the last time, and that's the end of it. Bills, bills and claims. I'm going to do bills and claims for fiscal year 1920 of sixty thousand six hundred thirty-eight dollars and ninety-seven cents. Make a motion with pay the bills and claims. May I have a second? Second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Before we go into what I'd like to think is a quick executive session, um, is there anything from the board? The board. The board. Okay. Um, I give my time. Thank you. Um, you said you might give a little gas line update. How's that going? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Jane, you're right. So the North End. Uh, so I visit the North End three or four times a day, always at the end of the day before the guys go home, make sure everything's okay, cleaned up. Uh, over the weekend, I, uh, when they left Friday, I think, the, I think it was nice and tidied up um, for the weekend. I thought it looked pretty good, very good, actually. Um, they have the gas main, new main in to the corner of Main and Drew by Shades Restaurant, as of an hour ago. They're working their way to Thayer Gate. He hopes to be by Thayer Gate by Friday. If that's the case, the main will be completed by Friday. Barring, they, they hit a water line that was inaccurately marked. That took away a lot of time one day. Um, today they had a situation with uh, McDonald's lateral, which actually, I didn't know, goes from Shades across Main Street, across the highway into McDonald's. So there was a situation that held them up. So barring any holdups, they'll be at Fairgate Friday. Um, and then they'll start the laterals. There's 20 laterals that have to be put in. Um, they told me they can do two a day. So two a day is 10 days of work. So that puts us at August 2. So, God overseeing everything, no emergencies, the weather doesn't rain, although we, we're going to need rain soon, no, get, no extra lines being hit like water mains or gas lines themselves. Everything is perfect. It could be August 2, they'll be done on Main Street. And then they'll go, um, I think they're going to West Street. Um, so that's the update on, uh, that's the update. We, we, we're, we're hoping for August 2. And I know when you mention dates, it kind of comes back at you, but I'm giving you this scenario. So August 2 plus or minus one. Plus, oh, no, and that's a good way. Plus or, plus a couple, one way or the other. Sometimes they have good digging. Other times, not. You've done a nice job cleaning up here. So. I'm very pleased with the cleanup. And I've heard a couple of businesses say they're working well with Business oh, that was a prerequisite. Yeah. Uh, they really and every day I actually speak to them. As, yeah. You know, that's good. Though. Yeah. You know, businesses are worried about their customers, and traffic's being affected, and parking's being right. affected, and it makes a business person a little nervous. I understand, and we talk about it every day. I've been telling people to use the senior citizen parking lot to go down to Main Street because that's perfect. <laughs> and then we'll talk more about. Uh, the sidewalk, new sidewalks coming, uh, the new paving of the road on Main Street from Theragate to Mountain Avenue, and all the other streets that we're going to pave. Uh, we have a lot of projects, and they're such, and they're, I, I don't call them great projects, but they're 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 positive projects uh, for the community. And uh, I think the community is going to be, most of the community will be happy when I give them the plan on paying for all this paving. I think the tax the taxpayers are going to be happy with what a, the package that has been put together to pay for the paving. Very happy. That'll come soon. Okay. If there's nothing further, um, I'd like to have a motion to go into executive motion. session. Motion. Motion by Jim. Is there a second? Second. Second by Brian. All in favor? Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you so much.